Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in last lecture we have seen why we need CA and how we aggregated uh, primary component carriers and secondary component carriers to achieve higher values of throughput. Okay, so if you deployed uh, carrier aggregation in your network uh, and but proper functioning of this feature at UE side also, this feature should be supported. And if someone asks you, how would you know whether your UE supports career aggregation or not? In that case, you have to uh, look at your initial attach logs of UE. Okay. And in those logs, actually what networks do, do during initial attach, it will inquiry UE capability. Okay. And in response to that message, uh, your UE will provide this all means its capability. Or you can say UE will inform uh, network whether I support a career aggregation or not. Okay. So, okay. So if you look at UE capability, uh, here I have mentioned few things that you need to check in UE capability response message. The first thing is, uh, access stratum release. Okay. So as we know, career aggregation is of release 10 feature. Okay. So, uh, so your UE should be of either, uh, it should be of release 10 or beyond release 10 okay and ue category uh, actually from cat 6 ue has started uh, supporting this feature okay so cat 6 7 8 and so on these uh, ue categories support uh, supports category creation feature okay i have uh, taken some snippets of uh, UE attach logs. There I can show you the UE capability. See, uh, DCCH on DCCH channel, this UE capability response is uh, sent by UE to network. So here you can see UE capability information. This is the access stratum release. Uh, this is release 11. Okay. So this thing confirms that uh, UE supports CA. And these are the bands that are UE support supports like band e ultra e ultra means lt lt band 1 3 38 39 40 41 all these bands are uh, are ue supporting these bands okay and apart from this uh, this is a ue category so you can see ue category is 7 okay it means ue supports ca okay let's go down okay uh, these things we'll check later now the next thing is uh, CA bandwidth class. Okay, so <clears throat> but before uh, reading this CA bandwidth class, uh, we have to look at uh, career career allocation scheme. Okay, career allocation scheme. Okay. So there are three ways uh, career are aggregated uh, allocated in CA. Okay, the first one is your uh, intra band intra band contiguous. The second one is your intra band non contiguous. Okay, it's non contiguous, and the third one is your interband. Interband will always be a non contiguous, so no need to mention whether it's a contiguous or non contiguous. So let's uh, come to this uh, interband contiguous. Okay, so in this case. Uh, both the primary component carrier and secondary component carrier belongs to same band. Okay, so let's say this is your primary component carrier. Okay, and let's say this is your secondary component carrier. So you can see that uh, both are contiguous. Contiguous means uh, as soon as this PCC is ending here, this SCC is starting next to it. Okay, so let's say this is our band. Let's say this is band three. It could be any band means, but both PCC and SCC should belong to band three. 
okay so this could let's say this is of 20 megahertz this is also 20 megahertz okay so i'm just giving you means uh, a view means uh, it will give you a better picture means how this pcc and scc are mentioned here suppose this is this is our band right this whole uh, x axis is our band so uh, you can say this is 3550 okay as this is 20 megahertz so this should be your let me take another color 3570 okay because the difference is 20 megahertz uh, okay similarly this will be your 35 this is also 20 right so this will be your 3590 megahertz okay so this will be your 3590 okay so this is also uh, 20 megahertz okay so this is done now let's jump to sorry uh, this should not be intra band this should be inter okay inter band oh sorry 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 is intra band intra band okay so intra band non contiguous so it will be like suppose means this is also intra band it means both pcc and scc see because let's uh, let me give you one let me explain one more thing see pcc here in first intra band contiguous i'm talking about pcc is from 3550 to 3570 okay so here center frequency is 3560 right so it will have erfcn erfcn let's say it's one okay and this is this belongs to uh, band 3 similarly scc here is between 3570 to 3590 okay so <clears throat> the center frequency will be 3580 and this will have another ERFCN ARFCN 2 you can say okay so uh, our network is uh, supporting supporting or you can say uh, configured with ERFCN1 and ERFCN2 ERFCN is for PCC and ERFCN2 is for SCC okay and uh, in CA we will aggregate them to achieve higher throughput okay now come to intra band non contiguous okay so this is our PCC let's say Because I have taken these value three five double three five five zero three five seven zero randomly. Actually, uh, these values are belongs to band forty eight, not three. Okay, so this uh, for better understanding, I have considered these values. Okay, so this is PCC. Uh, let's say <clears throat> it's again from three five five zero to three five seven zero twenty megahertz again. Now it's uh, the the SCC is non-contiguous, right? So what will happen? Instead of just starting after this, SCC will be starting around at this point. So you can say it's starting around uh, 3600 to 3620. This SCC. So the this is non-contiguous. Okay. Again, it is 20 megahertz. Fine. Now, uh, interband, uh, interband means both the carriers PCC and SCC belongs to a different band. Let's say this is a band X and this is a band Y. Okay, so this is your SCC means both PCC and SCC belongs to a different band okay so this is interband okay so we have seen the career, uh, the career allocation schemes interband contiguous 
intermend non contiguous and intermend intermend non contiguous okay now come to ca bandwidth class okay okay uh, there is a table provided uh, for this ca bandwidth class uh, let me show you that table okay this one it is okay see this is ca bandwidth class right a b c d e uh, f n i uh, these are applicable for uh, later releases okay so uh, we will uh, focus on these ca bandwidth classes a b c d e let me write them uh, here okay so we are reading ca bandwidth class okay so we have seen a b c d and e okay so uh, if you look at this table this is the main thing that we have to check that number of contiguous component carriers so it's 1 2 2 3 4 okay so number of contiguous component carriers okay for a uh, this is 1 and for b this is 2 for c also 2 for d it is 3 and for e it is 4 okay this is for a b c d e so let's say uh, ca bandwidth class uh, informed by ue to network is uh, let's say let's say it is c a underscore 3 c okay so it is c okay so first of all you have to look at this c c means how many component carriers it is 2 okay 2 let me take another color okay and this 3 represents your band okay so two component carriers are there of band 3 okay and this is these this 2 is com contiguous component carriers okay so uh, if you uh, now let me draw the diagram so things will be more clear to you so as i told you this is band 3 okay this is or band 3 and C denotes this is actually this C underscore 3 C uh, it is reported by UE to network that this is my CA bandwidth class okay and <clears throat> so what we will get from this was what network will get from this is that UE supports band 3 and its CA bandwidth class is C okay so uh, two contiguous component carriers are supported by this UE okay so two contiguous component carriers are supported okay now let's take another example let's let's see we uh, inform network that i support ca bandwidth class of ca 25a underscore 25a okay it means bands are same 25 okay but bandwidth class is a which told which uh, which tells that uh, how many contiguous co uh, component carriers are supported only one okay but here a is mentioned two times okay so it is informing network that these are the these belongs to same band okay band 25 but they are non-contiguous okay this is pcc this is scc one more thing uh, you'll not be able to see that some ca supporting ue is uh, informing network that i support ca 25 a only because a only means only one component carrier okay one component carrier 
and for ca we at least need two component cases okay so this is this thing is invalid this only 25a or 3a okay uh, let's take one more example uh, let's we inform network that i support ca uh, 25 25a underscore uh, 41a again uh, you can see that uh, bands no sorry bandwidth class is a okay so only one component carrier okay with a means two times you have to means you have to show this thing okay so a means one component carrier in band 25 band 25 and another component carrier in band 41 okay so this is the case of interband non contiguous okay so in this way uh, ca bandwidth class is uh, informed by ue2 network okay so after uh, looking at this ca bandwidth class uh, means uh, you know we will check means uh, whether uh, it is also uh, means uh, transmitting its signals on these band and these eruption or not okay okay so if you are working in lab so make sure that uh, your e node b is uh, broadcasting its signals on the on the bands which ue supports right only then you can uh, continue your testing or whatever you want to do Uh, guys let me show you the ue logs also means i have taken snippets for this ca bandwidth class okay so these are this is these are the snippets we have already seen ue category okay now uh, this is ca 1a 3a how see uh, 1a 3a means band 1 and band 3 okay so this is information of band 1 now come to the dl actually we are talking about ca and dl only right uh, some ue also supports uh, CA in uplink direction also, but right now we only discuss about in, uh, discuss about CA in downlink direction. Okay, so let's uh, search for band one. Okay, so this is the band E ultra one. Okay, in downlink this is A. Okay, means uh, only one component carrier. Correct? Because if you look at this table, CA bandwidth class with a one component carrier. Okay. As I said, only 1A is not valid, okay? With 1A, we also need some, because with single component carrier, CA is not applicable, okay? So, uh, they have mentioned 3 also here. So, let's come to band 3, and this is also A, okay? So, CA, 1A, 3A means uh, one component carrier from band 1 and another component from band 3, and both will be are non contiguous because these are interband right band 1 band 3 are different band so interband non contiguous it is okay so let's see other means other examples also this is 3a underscore 3a as i have already told you only 3a is not valid because a means only one component carrier with a we also need another uh, a or you can say some other bandwidth class Okay, so CA, 3A, 3A means uh, 3 band is 3, but both have same band, right? 3. So it is intra band and it is non, non contiguous, it is, right? So let's see, this is band ultra 3. Band with this is for uplink, we are talking about downlink only. So this is downlink, this A is showing that 3A. And this is again band ultra 3, and this is downlink. A right bandwidth class is A okay so intra band non contiguous it is let's see one more example this is CA underscore 38 C okay now C means what C means it has only it has two contiguous component carriers right so only 38 C is valid but if you uh, write 38a then it's not valid because for a 
only one component carrier is uh, present which is not applicable for ca but yeah c is valid because for c two component carriers are valid right see okay so this is 38c means two component carriers are there only one band is there so it means intra band uh, contiguous it is right intra band contiguous so let's see in logs this is band 38 and ca band with class downlink c okay so both the uh, carriers belongs to band 38 and both are contiguous fine uh, let's uh, go back to our UV capability tutorial okay now next is your uh, this ca bandwidth uh, sorry bandwidth combination set okay uh, guys before starting that uh, bandwidth combination set uh, let me give you one more example as we have seen 38c right ca 38c so let's take another example ca 40c okay 40 c means if you look at table two component carriers are there 40 represents your band okay so let's draw it it's band 40 okay two component carriers are there so they will be contiguous to each other and let's say this is pcc and this is scc okay so in this way ue informs about its ca bandwidth class 2 network okay now let's come to bandwidth combination set okay to understand this bandwidth combination set i am going to take another example of ca 1a underscore 8a okay so bandwidth class is a and bands are 1 and 8 1 and 8 means this is interband this is band 1 okay this is your band 1 this is your band 8 okay so this is interband non contiguous fine it could be your pcc this could be your scc okay so band 1 and band 8 right so this uh, this pcc could be your 20 megahertz as i explained you earlier that 3550 to 3570 so gap is of 20 megahertz or it could be your 15 megahertz 10 5 3 1.4 so total 1 2 3 4 3 4 just a second so total six possibilities are there right 1 2 3 4 5 6 six possibilities are there similarly for band 8 these six possibilities are there okay so uh, let me draw a table me to explain you suppose this is band 1 this is your band 8 okay so for band 1 1 1.4 megahertz is possible component carrier okay 1.4 3 5 10 20 so total six possibilities are there for band one as well as for band eight right so, 10 20 okay so uh this uh, so in means if we talk generally so six possibilities are there right for band one yes e, y means yes type of 10 15 and 20 and for band 8 also six possibilities are there 1.4 3 5 10 15 and 20 so six possibilities for band one and six possibilities for band eight so if you multiply them so there will be total 36 possibilities okay so in this way means there are a lot of bands are there available in LTE spectrum okay so in this way means, uh, uh, possibilities will be means uh, much high okay so to reduce these possibilities 
this uh, bandwidth combination set is defined okay so uh, I have to give you uh, I'm considering same example okay it's just an example okay let's say band 1 band 8 again band 1 band 8 oh, sorry okay uh, this is dotted line this is dotted line I'll explain why I am drawing this okay just give me a few seconds again uh, we have six possibilities for these bands uh, like 1.4 3 megahertz, 5 megahertz, 10 megahertz, 15 megahertz, and 20 megahertz. Okay, so oh, I'm drawing vertical lines. This is for 3, this is 5, 10, 15 and this is 20 megahertz okay so as i already explained to you both bands 1 and 8 these bands have six possibilities okay now uh, let's say uh, only this uh, for band 1 only 3 megahertz 5 megahertz 10 and 15 megahertz is supported okay and for band 8 only 1.4 megahertz and 3 megahertz are okay so this uh, why band 1 means in case of ca1a a day 1a and 8a why only 3 5 10 15 i have marked yes because it is mentioned in spec okay that uh, with this combination only these are the possible uh, possibilities uh, which are uh, available okay so here four possibilities are there and here for band 8 it is two possibilities if you multiply them so it will come around your eight possibilities are there, right okay so eight possibilities are there okay and they call it bandwidth let me make another column here bandwidth combination set this is the another column okay so uh, they call it bandwidth combination set one zero this is all mentioned in the spec okay similarly for this let's say uh, i am putting these y randomly okay uh, let's say for uh, band one again uh, five is supported 10 is supported 15 okay and for band eight three is supported and 5 is supported, 10 is supported. Okay, I have put these uh, Y or you can say yes randomly. Okay, so total possible values are 3 multiplied by 3. So, 9 possibilities are there. And they call it bandwidth combination set 1. Okay, so you can say means in similar way other, other uh, bandwidth combination sets are also possible. 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, uh, in our example, uh, you can see that so far 8 plus 9, this 8 from bandwidth combination set 0 and 9 from bandwidth combination set 1 are available. Okay, so if you total them, so it will come around 9 plus 8, 17 uh, combination. Okay, so instead of supporting 36 a combination only, uh, instead of supporting 36 possibilities, uh, only 17 uh, possibilities are there okay this is just an example means uh, if you read the spec properly then you will get the exact combination set values 
so this is all about uh, from ui capability point of view so now we are left with uh, sl addition and your sl addition and activation okay these two things are left okay so we will cover this in another lecture okay